Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is putting the bike in a turbo trainer. And Heather has kindly agreed to let me use her bike to show you how. Now, obviously Heather's bike's got an expensive race wheel in, so the first thing that we're going to do is change it for a training wheel. So we just need to swap the back wheel before we start. So just take the, take the race wheel out. And put the turbo wheel in. Now the thing to remember here is to make sure that you've got the right fitting on the quick release or skewer. Now the end of the skewer, which is this part, will be shaped to fit into the mounting bracket for the turbo. And that's really important. So in Heather's case, we've got a, a training wheel, but if you haven't, and you only have one wheel, you must make sure you've got the correct skewer installed in the wheel to fit in it to the frame. So lift that across. So you need to make sure the end of the skewer goes into the mount on the turbo, and then you tighten up the lever. Now you really want to make sure this is nice and tight because obviously falling out of the turbo isn't going to be pleasant. So just make sure the lever's cranked all the way around, so that's nice and tight. And then once it's tight, you can actually lock it so they can't slide out. And then the next thing, if we just drop that back so it's actually sitting on the roller, that's the thing that gives you the resistance. Heather's positioned the front uh, wheel chock so that the bike is flat, which is important. And if you haven't got one of those, a book or something else will do. And the last thing to do is we need to mount the the resistance dial and that can make the difference between riding uphill or downhill and we just mount that on the handlebar and then that's easy for you to operate when you're sat on the bike. The only other thing you might need is maybe a towel and a bottle of water.